Sellers averaged 20 points a game, propelling the Scarlet Knights to the 1973 NIT. But Dick Lloyd's decision to step down as head coach that February became a turning point for the future of the program. Vital was campaigning for the job. He really wanted the job. He had done the recruiting of Sellers and Dabney and that whole freshman group. Fred Gruninger was the athletic director. I said to him, Mr. Gruninger, I want the job so bad, I'll tell what I'll do. I'll take it with the same amount of money I'm making now. Just give me one year, 11000 and I promise you, you're going to be offering me a multi-contract, year contract. That's how confident I am that I could do this job. Dick was talking about turning out the lights and busting through the banners. They wasn't thinking on that type of level. And it made them nervous. And I can see that, you know, Rutgers just wasn't ready to make that giant step that Dick Vitale had envisioned, you know? Dick was a little rough around the edges. You could see that. I guess in Rutgers' mind, they were always in the area with the Ivies. They wanted to be related to the Ivies. They didn't want to make a little waves at the time. All of a sudden, out of the blue, came the University of Detroit. I was blown away, blown away that they were interested in me as the head coach. And I called Garfinkel up, and he said, they want you in Detroit. You're begging. You're too good to be begging. And you know what? I thought about it, and we took it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you one other thing. My wife's the only one who knows this. Cried like a baby on the plane. I was leaving home. I'd never been out of Jersey. My mother, my father, my family. And I'd seen them. I remember being on a plane saying to my wife, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to a stranger. I don't know anybody in Detroit. No, anybody. 